Last week, Shay Finger painted flower blossoms for her tree, and we began roofing on Shay's earth bag bedroom. Oh, is this for me? Thank you, you didn't have to get me anything. The guys continue sheeting the roof. So I was like, oh, okay. Nice. Two and a half, two and a half inches. Dangerous. Get up to here. A couple of different ways to do the panels. We have found that the easiest way is just lay the panel in place, nail it down. Yeah, there. That's pretty good. Let's nail it. Nail it. The easiest way to cut this is, we found, it's just go ahead and just use my skill saw and that seems to be the easiest way to cut it. Can I get some? Sure. That'll probably work actually. Yeah, that'll work. And then trim it at the uh, joints where it meets and butts up to another one. And then we put the ridge cap over the top of that. There are some foams too that we can put in there to help to keep it from squishing down. Big differences between the square buildings and those that are round, like what we're trying to do, is that there's like 100 times more cuts to have to do, lots more measuring. You use a lot more material because you're cutting triangles as opposed to squares, and not all triangles fit together. Maybe a geodesic structure they might, but in our case, when we're doing these types of roofs, a lot of cutting means the material is a little bit more wasted. There, then we can cut that corner off. It fits right there, doesn't it? Yeah, I think it will. I don't really kind of... What was that? Feels like chill, little squirt. Are you going through your angry teenage years? We wanted to do a little review on our rocket stove here, our dragon rocket stove that we put together here last year. We didn't get a chance to really burn it last year, and this year we're uh, we're enjoying it because it's working extremely well. I really like this front load style. I can get a little pe pieces that are a little bit longer. I can get them in there. It loads well. It lights up perfectly. You just throw your your paper in there, throw a little bit of kindling, light it, and walk away. And then throw in some bigger stuff later. And of course, we have a, a carbon monoxide detector that we keep in the room real close by and we have had zero issues with this detector it's reading zero the design of the rocket stove was remember seeing the old christmas movie with uh with uh, santa claus coming out and it's this great big huge sculpture it's just beautiful of santa claus's mouth opens and and then santa claus comes out that was just very inspirational but then too you kind of get this idea of a dragon i saw this huge mouth and this open you know maw just like that with cheek you know that kind of a thing mm. <laughs> heat that you would normally get in a flu is just not there. This is just warm to the touch. It's not even hot at all. So I imagine that our stove pipe is the same as a normal rocket stove. And this, this is just beautiful. Oh yeah. We do have the open air uh, set up where I can draw air from outside. Once you get it started and you get a draft going, you open that thing up and it just, just sucks in. It's just perfect. The room is just getting some radiant heat, just not only from the, the steel structure here that has the combustion chamber, it's just emitting quite a bit of heat, which is nice. And then of course it heats up this wall of cob that we built here behind it. And that's radiant heat, that'll store in there and then that comes out later. So it's heating this room really well. And then of course we have the heat going downstairs through this venting system that we draw heat from here, it vents down, and it comes up at another spot over here in another vent that we have. So the cold air is drawn out and comes up into the room and it cycles. A pretty good stove that's made very well. I'm very pleased. What are you doing, Mom? We need to put him at the front of the gate. So he's not gonna have lights anymore because we can't run a cord, you know, down the driveway, you know, 300 feet. So, I mean, we could, but it looked a little silly. <laughs> me and, me and Elfie, eight foot Elfie. There's the lone elf in the desert. He looks mm. great. You did a good job. Hey, you're the cotton ball. What are you working on, Gareth? 
working on setting up a song for Shay, a song called Candy Cane Lane. She's decided to do this song, so I'm gonna quickly get this set up for her today. I've been using GarageBand real quickly. Let's hear a little piece of it. putting in the background music for her. Yes. And then she'll sing to it then. For right. Her, for her video. Yep. Cool. We're working on a cover tune for a CMV I'm doing Christmas before Christmas on my Winter Apple channel. Christmas is waiting for you. Red and yellow and pink and green. There'll be a link in the description if you want to check that out. Right here. We're putting on the rest of the roof, which is this cap, which goes over all of our seams on, our, on the hip joints. Covering the gaps, keeping the rain out. Okay, so this is the ridge cap that we're gonna be using. There's uh, 16 or so, plus some longer sections. So it's kind of exciting to, to get this on. Hard to find stuff. I'm hoping to finish with the materials that we purchased today. It's hard to get, and we bought them all out of the store. Works out pretty good. These land right on those ridges and uh, covers up that spot there and all the water runs down just correctly. The thing about this material here, especially this ridge cap, is that um, they have the six foot pieces like you see here, but they're going to three foot, uh, two and a half foot pieces. Shorter pieces that you have to put a lot on, which means a lot more joints that have to be done. My foot is my foot in the way, Dad. Hey, give me a nail, quick. The reason I wanted to start over here, Bryce, is because I don't know if I have enough. Show in the video. It's only gonna be from this side. <laughs> That doesn't give us much vote of confidence. What is Where the next one's gonna cover? Maybe. Am I responsible for what happens up there? I don't think so. Damn it. your foot. You're the bee whisperer after all. They're supposed to be hibernating right now and they're out flying around. It's, it's time for bee pun. No bee pun. Yeah, they actually live no to be a part of this. You know, the lung, the lung thing of bubbers. Control your dog. Be <laughs> down with you. You go off this. Looks like we didn't make it, and we're gonna have to go online and order some more. So we'll have to finish this up in a week or two. I kind of want my doodles to be black and white, and my background to be colorful. I'm trying to figure out what I want as a base coat to where you can draw on it. I was just wondering if you had any other ideas that would make a good wall color and a background to doodles. <laughs> Whoa, that's got some cobwebs on it, baby. Hey, we've had them for a while. We'll dust them off. Imagine how cute that's gonna look, Mama. Yeah. Gorgeous. This is the last of three doors that we purchased um, on a Craigslist ad, so um, she gets the last one. Oh yeah, we picked up this frame for, what do yeah. we, five bucks for that frame. Yeah, five bucks for the frame too. So it's a metal frame, It'll, it uh, actually fits the dimensions. being here. Stay tuned for next Friday as we continue building on Shay's earth bag bedroom. We'll be having our regular podcast this coming Wednesday. We'll see you there. Thanks and have a great Christmas. Bye! Consider supporting us on Patreon. Merry Christmas. Okay. Merry, merry, merry Christmas. Are we good? Yeah.
Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Okay, Merry Christmas. I feel like it's gonna fall off of my head. That's a goat. Days. That's a goat, Dad. Ma! The bee sound doesn't come from their mouths, though, Dad. It comes from their wings. How do you know? You ever gotten a microphone up there real close? Bees, buds for me. Well, when they stop flying, the noise stops. So it's kind of one of those logical conclusions we pull. Sure you never know. Our family moved from the city to the country. Thanks for taking part in our adventure. We have new videos every Friday evening. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description. Who you calling a monkey? Puppeteers, puppeteers. Who you calling a monkey? Huh? Start chewing on this leg right here. Chewing that leg right there. Chewing it.